Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the garage. Uh, today I wanted to talk about this car behind me. Uh, I had a couple older videos where I was drag racing the car. Uh, if you haven't seen them, uh, go back and check them out. Uh, the car runs 1170s consistently and has gotten into the 1160s. Uh, and in the comments, uh, people were asking me different stuff about my setup, uh, what cam, converter, gears, stuff like that. So today I just wanted to do like a little bit of a build breakdown on this car. So if you're someone that has a Mopar or is building a Mopar and uh, might be a little informative if you are going to drag race it and your intentions are going maybe around the 12 or into the 11s, uh, might help you out. So I'm going to do a quick walk around here and just start from the back and work my way to the front. So, all right, for the rear end, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a A body, eight and three quarter. I've got measure 30 spline axles that are big bolt pattern, so I can run the B body rear drums. Uh, they're Richmond 410 gears riding on a strange spool. And the rear suspension, very simple. Just super stock leaf springs and uh, pinion snubber. It's got competition engineering shocks. Uh, drive shaft is a Denny's aluminum drive shaft. And the transmission is a 904. Very simple 904. I uh, rebuilt it with just basically a parts store rebuild kit. It's got a Transgo TF2 shift reprogrammer in the valve body and it's a TCI 10 inch converter that's supposed to be about a 3500 stall but it stalls higher than that. A deep aluminum pan and a external trans cooler in front of the radiator. All right for the engine I'm just going to start at the bottom work my way up. Uh, it has a stock oil pan and a melling standard volume oil pump. Nothing special down there. It's got a windage tray. That's about the only thing trick about the oiling system and we just kind of cleaned up some of the oil passages as well. Deburred everything, made sure the drain back holes were nice and smooth from the heads and down to the lifter valley. All right, the crankshaft, just a stock cast 360 crank. Uh, it was turned 10-10. Uh, the rods are stock rods with ARP bolts. Uh, the pistons that I have are Keith Blacks. They're the KB108s, I think. Uh, makes about 10 to 1 compression. Uh, camshaft is a Mopar Performance, the 484 cam. It's a 241 duration at 50. I think they call that the Hemi Grind cam. And it actually, right now I have mechanical like solid lifters on there. I did have hydraulics, but I went to solids and it actually picked up a little bit in the quarter mile with that. So it must be making a little more power with the solids. Uh, just the Mancini 1.6 roller rocker arms under the valve covers there and a comp cam double spring. I think they're the 995s. Uh, the heads are J heads and they started out as 188 intake valves. I got Manly 202 1.6 stainless steel valves and I did the port work on the heads myself. I just gasket matched them, uh, blended the bowls and worked down that material around the valve guide. Uh, and the intake manifold is an Edelbrock air gap and that's gasket matched also. The carburetor is a FST 750. It's a mechanical secondary. So it's pretty much out of the box. Carb works really good though. So the ignition system, it's got the MSD Pro Billet Distributor, just all mechanical advance. MSD coil, MSD wires, and that uh, MSD ignition box there. Uh, ignition timing is 36 degrees total and that comes in pretty early because I have the light springs in the distributor and the cooling system 
aluminum radiator. I think that's a champion. Got it off of eBay. It was whatever. It was pretty cheap. And it's a flexible light dual fan setup, 180 degree thermostat. And also the fuel system, 3 8 line all the way back, 3 8 pickup in the tank. I got a Holly Red fuel pump because it's self regulated to 6 psi, so I don't even have a regulator on it. So nothing special here. Uh, it's just a pretty proven setup. Uh, it's pretty durable. The engine's been in here since 2007, so no mechanical issues there. So makes pretty good power for the amount of money it costs because it was pretty much a budget build. So get it fired up here, let you take a listen to how that exhaust sounds and uh, how that cam sounds as well. I did forget to mention the headers are TTIs, so they're kind of expensive headers, but I really think they're worth it because they fit absolutely great. I've had hookers in the past and they don't fit worth, uh, they don't fit worth a crap. So uh, the exhaust behind the headers is a three inch with three inch H pipe and uh, three inch two chamber mufflers are just the Summit brands. Kind of made the exhaust myself out of like a Summit H pipe kit, so. All right, we'll get this thing fired up and let you take a listen to it. I think I forgot to mention that this is actually a 360 and not a 340, but the same setup would apply to a 340 as well. I would think you'd get about the same results out of it, even though uh, 360 does have more stroke. So that's my recipe for a 11 second Mopar A body. I'm hoping that maybe it might help somebody out. They can reproduce this setup and have a very similar running car. I did want to ask one thing. Uh, I get a lot of questions on how much horsepower that it makes. And I tell people I don't know. I just tell them what the quarter mile time is. So if anyone has any idea on how much power that this thing possibly makes at the rear tires or at the flywheel, uh, you can let me know in the comments. And also, if there's any other specific questions about certain parts or parts of the setup that you have, if you're trying to build a car and you need more information, uh, just let it in the comments and I'll get back to you. So uh, thanks for watching. Catch you next time.